Hi, I'm Ikra Dada. I'm a product manager here at Synopsys, and I'm happy to announce an addition to our best-in-class suite of security software, Coverity Rapid Scan. Coverity Rapid Scan is a new feature of Coverity, which includes the brand new Sigma Static Analysis Engine. Sigma provides uncomfortably fast static analysis scans of infrastructure as code and modern applications, and is insanely easy to use. The Sigma Static Analysis Engine is extremely fast and runs in seconds. Your Sigma results will appear in your interface faster than you can blink. The result Sigma finds are highly actionable and yield very few false positives. This means Sigma is focused on finding defects that you can fix right away, saving the heavy lifting deeper analysis for other tools like Coverity to run in a nightly build. It's purpose built to run at every check-in, allowing you to find high confidence de defects quickly and much earlier in your software development lifecycle. Sigma is very easy to integrate into your pipeline and scan. Setup will take you a few minutes and no additional configuration is required to be able to see results on your current project. Sigma supports a wide variety of languages and types of vulnerabilities. Let's go over some of them now. Coverity Rapid Scan Sigma Engine's first release already has a wide breadth of language support, including infrastructure as code. This engine enhances Coverity's already broad coverage to an even wider selection, from Java and JavaScript to AWS CloudFormation, Kubernetes, Helm, Terraform, and more seen on all the logos presented here. This tool features not just a wide variety of language support, but also finds different kinds of vulnerabilities. It can scan automatically and fail policies, and it's extremely easy to set up with built-in templates that are plug and play ready. In the IDE, the Sigma engine for Coverity Rapid Scan can scan automatically as you save throughout the day in the blink of an eye. And it can indicate to you when there's a quick fix available for your defects. Quick fix is a no type feature to have Sigma fix your defects for you. With the click of a button, Sigma will rewrite your code to make the defect disappear. All you have to do is watch. So let's get this party started. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use Coverity Rapid Scan Sigma Engine in four different ways, so you can jump straight in. I'll start with the command line, show you integrations with GitHub and GitLab, and then dive into VS Code to show you our fantastic new CodeSci IDE plugin integration. You can download Sigma and run it immediately on your projects with no configuration necessary. I can check the help menu to see what commands are helpful for me, and I can just type Sigma Analyze in the project folder that I want to analyze, so Sigma will recursively run on any files within that directory. I can also see all the checkers that Sigma is going to use, and the Sigma Explain command will show me all the specific details associated with a certain check. I have a policy file in my directory, and it looks like the file on the left side of the screen. I have it set to fail the policy if any check exceeds a medium severity, so right now I just analyze the PIVA file, the PIVA project, and I have a few Java and XML results. I can also analyze Flowable Engine, which is another defect-ridden folder and project. Um, and you can see that it takes about like five or six seconds. Oh, seven seconds. And it found 3,000 defects. Here you can see um, that my policy violation list um, where it exceeds that medium severity on the right side. Um, and if I wanna dig into a specific check, I can just like highlight it. I can see exactly what type of vulnerability is reflected by that check. And so I'm gonna explain that Kubernetes hard-coded secret. So here's the actual summary, the issue description, and the remediation that Sigma recommends to avoid that defect. These print immediately in the console, so you can see right away when you've exceeded the bounds that you've set for your code. Great, so now I'm gonna show you uh, Sigma integrated with GitHub. I'm in GitHub right now, and I have a forked project called KaiMonkey. It's got Terraform, Kubernetes, and CloudFormation vulnerabilities. It's an infrastructure as code project. Um, GitHub has specific language that they use for their CI/CD workflow setup, so I've set up a GitHub action here. Um, this is copied and pasted from the template provided by Synopsys, and I can run I can run the job here, or I can just use the pre-run one from yesterday, so I won't run it right now, but I'll just show you what ran. 
and we can go into the issues here. Um, because we're choosing the output format of GitHub, Sigma is mapping our default severity levels to the GitHub severity levels, which are note, warning, and error, and so you can filter by note, warning, or error. And if you wanted to change those severity levels, you could just change them based on your own levels, and that's possible using Sigma as well. And you can also do the same thing with um, having a policy to prevent issues above a certain severity. So let's click into an issue here. Here you can see that it's a warning. Um, you can see that Sigma found it. You can see the line numbers, the rule ID, and you can also see remediation advice that's custom. There you go. That's GitHub. So another way I can integrate Sigma is by integrating it into my GitLab pipeline, and this is done pretty easily too. I'm logged into my GitLab here, and I have uh, a few projects, Java Diversos and Apollo, DVNA, which are Java and JavaScript projects that I want to scan with GitLab. GitLab requires you to have like a runner, so you can set it up um, pretty easily. You have, a, you have to have a Docker image, um, and then you can just run a quick script using their thorough documentation, which is like two steps long. Um, since I've already saved that, I go to pipelines and I can run it from here. So I'm just gonna go quickly to CICD and pipelines. And since I've already run it, um, to save time, I'm just gonna go to my vulnerability report and go to the security tab, but I'll quickly show you how the run looks and how the pipeline looks in GitLab. So here's the build job and the assessed, and then the results. And again, I've mapped the Sigma issues to GitLab severities, which are almost the same as actual, the defaults that we have at Sigma, except for the unspecified is an unknown in GitLab. So similarly, it shows the dashboard of all the different types of severities and how many there are, and you can filter. Um, so I'm clicking into one of these issues. This is a CSR protection is disabled issue, and you can see the description, the scan type, the location of the defect, the issue ID, the specific checker. You can also see the solution, so the remediation device shows up as well that you should set the attribute disabled to false or omit it as the default value. So that's exactly how the defects will show up in GitLab. Now I'm going to show you how you can use Sigma in the CodeSite IDE plugin to catch defects and fix them as you code. I've got a project open, it's a Java application, and I'm navigating to a file that I know has a defect. You can see that it scans instantly and the issue pops up on the left side navbar. It highlights the issue when I click and I can see options for dismissing that issue as well as details about the issue and custom remediation advice. So this is telling me to change the setting to false. So I'll manually change this to false and you can see that it scans again and there's no issues. So that's how fast the scan is working. I'm gonna go to another project. Um, this one's familiar, KaiMonkey. It's the infrastructure as code project and I know it has a couple of issues. So I'll quickly show you. When I pull it up, you can see that there's two issues. One of them has a blue dot on it, which means there's a quick fix. It navigates to the line, and then there's a blue light bulb on the left. When I click on that, I can see the options available for the quick fix. So I click on it, it changes the code, it scans again, and the issue is gone. Then I can change the other issue manually, and both issues are gone. So these scans are happening live. So there you have it, folks. You got to see Coverity Rapid Scan in four different settings. You saw the basic yet powerful command line scanning at lightning speed with all the information you need at your fingertips. You saw the GitHub security dashboard and action setup that took one template file and ran instantly to make sure you don't merge defects carelessly. You saw a GitLab pipeline integration using a Docker image with a similar vulnerability report to, re to view remediation advice easily. You saw Sigma running in CodeSight IDE plugin with not just lightning fast scans as you go, but also quick fix features to make your whole life simpler. Coverity Rapid Scan is purpose built to make scanning for security and fixing defects so lightweight and easy that it can happen as you code. Save your heavier lift tools for the nightly build and find issues right now with Coverity Rapid Scan Sigma engine. And now for the best part. If you've been here on this journey, you probably want to know how to get your hands on this tool. 
I'm here with great news to tell you that Sigma is already available to our static analysis customers. This means if you're a Coverity customer, you can download the Sigma engine right now and get comfortable with Uncomfortably Fast. Thanks for watching. Cheers and have an awesome day, folks.